Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Getting my superpowers on. Mm. So, today's a little bit different of a day here in the Gris House because both my children are going to be home today. There's just been, with all this craziness with the schools and stuff, um, I'm sure the threats that were made at my kids' school was not, good morning Amy, was not anything more than probably like a joke or something like that, but I'm trying to get the light on behind me here. But um, I wanted to take it as serious as possible because I don't want to, uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to consider any of that stuff jokes right now with how crazy this world has been. So I um, actually had a phone call with their father yesterday and with Ryan on the phone um talked about a lot of things normally we don't communicate that way so obviously you know it's of some serious stuff and uh we both agreed and which was weird because Ryan <clears throat> never wants to go to school but <clears throat> he was trying to go to school <laughs> and both of us really told him we would rather him be here so both of them were sleeping so I am going to do my day a little bit differently today and after I chat with you guys about this one topic I am going to finish enjoying this. It is far away so I don't drop it but um, I'm going to finish enjoying that. I'm going to get into checking in with my groups. I checked in with a couple of them um, this morning before going live and uh, and then I'm going to get my work done. I have some fun stuff that's going to be happening so um, I need to get in there and get things situated and then I need to um, I need to send out some invites for that goal setting group that I have so don't forget I have that starting on Monday and I just need to get everything organized and stuff like that and then I finally get these claws done. They are so long for me. Cannot wait to shorten them down. Um, I've had to put off my appointment a few times because different things kept happening. But anyways, I wanted to talk to you. This is driving me nuts how like dark I look on my Instagram one. Maybe I can use my superfood and I don't know how to lighten it. I'm learning. I don't know if there's a way to really lighten it on here. So I just need to get better lighting. How about that? How about I just buy one of those lights? I thought I had one, but I couldn't find it. So anyways, so um, I want to talk to you guys about being burnt out. It's a crazy, crazy topic because it happens to all of us. Um, and this is what happens to me a lot. Love you too, Amy. This is what happens to me a lot. Do you ever feel like, here's your plate. Let's just do this because my hands are small. Your plate is this big, right? But the things that you have on your plate are this big. And you don't have enough time in the day to get everything done. You don't have enough energy. You always feel, good morning, mom. You always feel like, like you're running around like a chicken with your head cut off and you don't have enough time to get everything done and you you just can't find that balance. You always say, God, I wish if I had five more minutes in my day. I wish if I had 10 more minutes in my day or burnt out could be something totally different. Maybe you're feeling burnt out because, um, hey Deb, maybe you're feeling completely burnt out because you're sick of the same thing over and over and over. Like maybe life to you is just one big groundhog day and you're burnt out on it and you just feel like you you just feel like you don't want to anymore. Burnt out can have so many feelings. You can be burnt out on your job. You can be burnt out on your relationship. You can be burnt out on all the things that you have to get accomplished. God, there are so many things you can be burnt out on, right? So I was thinking about this topic not that I'm feeling burnt out right now, but man, have I gone through that feeling so many times. And I was talking to um, a friend of mine that was feeling that way. She was feeling really burnt out. <coughs> and it got me thinking. I mean, oh, I was feeling burnt out over the weekend, that's for sure. I was just exhausted. But when you're feeling like that and you have that burnt out sensation and you feel like you just don't want to anymore, you need to take a break. You've got to take that break. And that's what's hard for me. Even though I'm burnt out, I keep pushing through and I keep pushing through and I keep pushing through. 
And the whole time I keep pushing through, I'm like, I just don't want to do this. And you just keep on going. You've got to take a moment and you've got to take a break. And you've got to, got to, got to just chill for a minute. Because you might have a to-do list a mile long. Here's my weekend to-do list that I just started writing right before going live. Of all the things I want to get accomplished. That right there just gave me anxiety. I don't know why I wrote that. Because I'm like, am I going to have any time to relax over the weekend? I feel burnt out on life sometimes. Um, I feel like everything's always on me. You know, making sure the dogs are good, making sure the laundry's done, making sure the dishes are done, making sure, you know, everybody has their lunches, making sure that I figure out what everyone's going to eat every night, and I shop for it, and I cook for it, and I clean up from it, and the house is clean, and the laundry's clean. You know, the list goes on and on and on, and you just get burnt out. Sometimes I feel completely burnt out just on being a woman and a mom, um... Because I feel like, I don't know about you guys, women or men, but I hold all my tension right here. And that's another reason why I'm still looking forward to going to get my nails done today. Because I sit in that chair when she gives me a pedicure, pedicure and I make it push on here for that good half hour, 45 minutes. It feels good at the moment. It doesn't get all my knots out, but it feels a little bit better. Um... But it's so easy to get burnt out, to get burnt out on life, to get burnt out as a parent, to get burnt out as a spouse, um, because there's so much that we take on on ourselves. And if you're like me, it's hard to ask for help because you don't want to ask for it. You just want the people to love you enough that they see you running around like a chicken with your head cut off and they want to offer the help, right? So it makes it really difficult because you don't want to keep asking <laughs> I don't want to keep asking. If you keep asking, then they're only doing it because you asked. They're not doing it because they really, really, truly want to. Whether that's the right mindset or not, that's just how I think of. However, here is my mindset when I start to feel burnt out like that. I usually will have a phone call with my girl Amy or, um, you know, with my mom. And sometimes with Alex, but usually he's, he's too busy. I don't like to bother him. Um, so... You know, you have to have someone that you can have a convo with, that you can just say, I just need to vent, get all this off my chest, and then that's it. And then as you're talking to them, you can feel that weight come off your shoulders, right? You can just feel it lifting, and you feel a little bit more at ease because you've gotten it off your chest. <laughs> Love you, Amy. You've totally gotten it off your chest. So sometimes it's just talking about it that makes you feel better. And then other times, you've got to take action. So you need to take a break. You need to do one thing that's going to make you happy. One thing that's going to make you feel like, ah, oh, it's going to give you that zen. That's what you need to find. You need to find, as you can tell, I'm cold in my house. I kept it cold because the kids are still sleeping. You need to find your zen. You need to find that spot, that pocket that you can just be, oh, and just relax. Put it all aside. It's okay if it all doesn't get done. It's okay if it all doesn't get done. You really need to just think of one important thing to get accomplished in that day. And then if you get that accomplished, you feel amazing. And then if you want to do other things, you can. But you don't have to put everything on your plate. That's one thing that I'm still trying to learn because I still try to do it all. Like I wanted to drop the dogs off at the groomer. They need haircuts this weekend. She's not available. So guess what? I'll be doing it. Yay. Um, cause it needs to be done, either that or at least just give them baths, something they're just grungy. The grass needs to be done. Like there's a lot that needs to be done cause we haven't been doing much here cause we've been working at the cabin. Hey Kirsty. So remember that burnt out can be anything. You could just be burnt out on life in general. And if that's the case, you don't need to go spend money on a vacation, but you need to and do a vacation up in your mind. You know, you need to take a mental vacation. And the way that I go about doing that mental vacation is I try to kind of just like lounge around. Um, maybe watch movies or go for a walk. Go down to the beach and go for a walk. You know, things that really don't cost anything, but I feel like I'm in vacation mode. It's really hard for me to do staycations because I'm always the one getting things done around the house. So it makes it really hard for me because when I'm sitting there, all I'm thinking about is, oh my God, I have to dust that. 
oh gosh, I need to put a load of laundry on. So I can't fully relax. I have to be out of the house to fully relax. So that's why I'm always trying to go do things, whether it's take the kids to the movies or go to the park or go for a bike ride or go to the beach. I'm always trying to go somewhere and do something because that's when I feel zen. That's when I feel like I'm having a break from my regular life. Um, you know, I make my own hours at work, but I have a big goal for my business and I'm not going to, I'm not going to hit that goal by with just sitting around with my thumb in my butt. You know, I have to bust my ass and so I have to work, 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 work. <laughs> I have to work. So as much as I make my own hour, yes, I can take breaks and it's great, but I still have to get my stuff done. I still have to look at my plate with overflowing things to do. So when you feel burnt out, you need to take that break. So here's an action that I want you to do to help you take that break. I want you to make a list of things that give you your zen. Listening to waves, taking a nap, getting a manicure, getting a pedicure, getting your hair done, walking on the beach, seeing a movie, going out to eat, whatever it is that gives you that ah, feeling. Make that list. And then when the time comes that you're in your moment, you're in your life, and you're feeling that burnt out sensation. Go, hey Jody, go to that list and pick out one thing to do. Just look, it doesn't have to be the top thing, it doesn't have to be the middle thing, it could be whatever thing you put on that list of things that give you your joy, things that give you your happiness. Pick the one thing and without thinking about it, do the five second rule that we talked about. The five, four, three, two, one, take action. Pick the one thing, just go do it. And I'm going to focus on that this weekend. If I'm feeling overwhelmed, if I'm feeling that I need a break, I am picking one thing. Whether it's just telling everybody, get in the car, let's go. We're going to go walk around on the beach. Whatever it may be. I'm going to pick one thing and I'm just going to go do it. To help myself not have that burnt out feeling with life. You know, because it's really hard. You know, life is hard. Relationships are hard. Everything. Everything is hard. But if it was easy... I don't think everybody would be doing it if it was super easy um, because then it's not worth it. So you really have to, you really have to know what gives you your Zen in order to get that burnt out feeling gone. So I want you to make that list. If you want to share that list here, do a screenshot and put it in the comments, come back to this video and put it in the comments. Um, so if you're going to make that list, I want to see a number one in the comments that you're going to take a couple minutes, doesn't take long, just to make a list of things that make you happy. Whether you write it down and take a picture of it, whether you do it in the notes on your phone or you do it in your Google Docs, however you want to do it, make it on a cute little picture so you can save it as a screensaver of your phone, whatever it may be to help you. Um, do a number one if you're going to make that list. Um, do a number two if you're going to take action on that list when you feel burnt out. All right, I am going to go finish my superfood shake and I'm going to get to some of those messages because I know I had a few messages, people wanting to get into my next 80 day um, test group that's going to be starting on the 26th. So I need to go and answer those messages and get my workload done so when I'm done with my workout, I can plan whatever I'm going to do this afternoon with the kids. I know Ryan needs a haircut. I'm going to do my nails. So we're going to plan our rest of our day and I am going to bust my butt right now I have about an hour to bust my butt and get work done so then that way I can spend time with them. So I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Friday. It's a long weekend. Hopefully you guys have something nice planned for the long weekend and I will see you guys later. Bye.